Okay, uh, so in this video on complex numbers, we're going to look at the polar form again. We're going to do a little question on it, okay? So it's asking us to write this complex number, z is equal to 1 plus the square root of 3i in polar form. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a little sketch. But actually, before we do that, I'm just going to say, quick refresher, the polar form is anything like this. Cos theta plus i sine theta. So that's what we're going to hopefully end up with. Okay, and then th this is equivalent to that. It's the exact same thing. It's just written in a different way. Again, just trying to make that point clear. So we're going to do a quick sketch like this. So 1 plus the square root of 3i is going to be, let's say, up here. I'm going to draw my straight line, theta. This is going to be the square root of 3. This is going to be 1. Okay, so it's going to be 1 on the real axis and square root of 3 on the... Sorry, 1 on the real axis and the square root of 3 on the imaginary axis. So square root of 3 up and 1 across. And then I'm just going to draw a little or here. So I'll go or is equal to the square root of the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared. So that means or is equal to the square root of 4 and or is equal to 2. Okay, so now we have one part of our... Um, polar form solved okay now we need to find the argument or the angle theta okay so to do this I'll do this in green we're gonna say that tan of theta is equal to so the opposite over the adjacent which is going to be the square root of 3 over 1 so then to find our angle theta we say that theta is equal to the inverse tan tan minus 1 of the square root of 3 and now theta is going to be equal to pi over 3. So remember, it's always going to be in radians. Yeah. So the angle has to be in radians. It can't be in degrees uh, for this polar form basically to make sense. Okay. So now we have or is equal to 2 and theta is equal to pi over 3. So we can write our complex number in the polar form. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in, I'm going to do it in purple. I'm going to write it over here. So that z is equal to 2 multiplied by cos of pi over 3, so you've got in brackets, plus i sine of pi over 3. Okay, and I'm actually going to do square brackets, and that's just something that people do for complex numbers because it's not good practice to have two circular brackets around each other. It isn't that important, so just ignore that little circular bit there, but it is just kind of good practice to put square brackets beside circular brackets, so you'll see square brackets quite a lot. And there is our complex number in the polar form. That's all there is to it, sorry for that dodgy box. Uh, this is the exact same thing as 1 plus the square root of 3i, it's just written in a different way. And just to prove that to you, I'm going to go ahead and work it out. I'm going to use orange. So we're going to say z is equal to 2 multiplied by, so if you stick that into your calculator, so cos of pi over 3, make sure it's in radians mode, you're going to get a half. And then this one here is going to be, so sine of pi over 3 is going to be the square root of 3 over 2i. Okay, again, our square brackets. So multiply this out, we're going to get 1 plus the square root of 3i. Okay, so like we said, it's the exact same, we're just writing it in a different way. Uh, and the reason we're doing this, it'll become clear soon once we get into some kind of applications of the polar form. Right now, it just seems like a waste of time, but uh, it is really, really useful. Okay, so hope this video helped, and yeah.